All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steve Molsberg Show from our New York City studios. Lots to get to today. Uh, the polls. Let's talk quickly about the polls. You have uh, Investors Business Daily, you have Rasmussen, and you have the LA Times poll. Basically, they're all a dead heat, all three of them. Uh, then you have the Washington Post ABC News poll, Hillary by 12. Now, that poll's internal show that 9% more Democrats were polled than Republicans. In fact, more independents were polled than Republicans. So you had more independents and more Democrats than Republicans. So I don't buy that poll. Where is he? Where are we? Your guess as good as mine. Hillary was in North Carolina yesterday and she went to a early voting facility. Watch. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, according to um, a, a publication I have here, um, there's a law. The law states no person or group of persons shall hinder access, harass others, distribute campaign literature, place political advertising, solicit votes, or otherwise engage in election-related activity in the voting place or in the buffer zone. Um, there's some question as to whether or not Hillary Clinton broke the law by going to this early voting facility while people were lining up to vote and doing what you just saw her do. She did something similar, though very different, in New York City when she was campaigning. She went down onto New York City subways and started greeting and talking to people in one of the subway cars. You're not allowed to politic in the subway. So she broke some kind of rule or regulation or law there too. Nobody talked about it, nothing happened. Nobody's talking about this really, so I assume nothing will happen. Because Hillary, as we know, can break the law. And if she becomes uh, president, God forbid, she will not only break the law, she'll make the law. So that's big, big, big trouble. All right, Joe Biden was in Joe Biden mode. No, no, he didn't put his hands on any females, not this time. Uh, but he was in Pennsylvania late Friday and said this. I have not wanted to get into, if you notice in the national press, talking about Trump's behavior, his personal behavior. But what he said he did and does is a textbook definition of sexual assault. So what does Joe Biden want to do? Is Joe Biden sorry he didn't run against Donald Trump so he could debate him? Watch. The press always asks me, don't I wish I were debating him? No, I wish you were in high school. I could take him behind the gym. That's what I wish. So the vice president of the United States of America, two weeks before the presidential election, says of the Republican presidential nominee, basically, I wish I could take him behind the gym and beat the crap out of him. I don't want to debate him. I want to take him behind the gym. That's an obvious reference. There's no other way to interpret it. I'm sorry. Now, when Michael Schmirkanish of CNN fame heard that, you know how he reacted to it, to Brooke Baldwin? He said, Brooke, that's why people love him, because that's how regular people talk. Have you ever heard anyone on the left, anyone on the left, say about Donald Trump, no matter what it is he's saying, and forget the sex tape, I mean everything he says that he's been criticized for. Have you ever heard anyone on the left say, you know, that's why they love him. That's how regular people talk. No. But the vice president of the United States wants to beat the crap out of Donald Trump, and that, that's so great, isn't it? Because that's how regular people talk. Yeah, he's great. He's a great guy, isn't he? That Joe Biden if Donald Trump had said this, what if Donald Trump said, I, I, you know, I'm not sorry I'm not running against Barack Obama. I don't want to debate him. I wish I could take him out, out behind the school gym. What do you think would happen? There is such a sickening double standard. And Joe Biden, there's something wrong. There really is. When a vice president could say that about the presidential nominee of the other party two weeks before an election. Something very, very wrong with him and something horrifically wrong, which is obvious with the media in this country, and it's serious.